The world of Metal Gear is finally at the forefront of technology with the fourth entry in the franchise, the Guns of the Patriots. War has changed. Snake mentions war has changed and Lookhood's use of nanomachines has the world scrambling in fear. Nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. The protagonist is a much older snake with his health out of balance. But that's not stopping him from putting a halt in Liquid's insurrection. <sighs> Does Solid Snake have enough left in him to finish out this mission? The last chapter of the Twin Snakes begins. The game was released worldwide for the PlayStation 3 on June 12, 2008, with Hideo Kojima acting as the director and producer. The game is divided into several parts that grades you on your performance after each and every conclusion. A mission briefing is set in place to introduce the player to the situation at hand while also keeping the story in check. It's a Metal Gear game, so yes, it can get convoluted at times but the bigger conflict should be clear enough to the average player. You are Snake and your mission is to stop Liquid. Snake's not just old in the graphics department. The game plays into it as well with the Psyche Gauge. Although it feels a bit too simple compared to the Stamina Gauge in Snake Eater, it does come with comedic laughs that entertains till the very end. Obviously, depending on how high or low it is will affect your performance. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. While Sons of Liberty and Snake Eater took the espionage true to its title, Guns of the Patriots focuses on the action title. The controls and firing are better and there are dozens of different weapons to choose from. Sneaking is still required in parts of the game but it takes a back seat to snake lighting enemies up. And as far as CQC goes, it still feels pretty shallow to me. The graphics still hold up to this day. The character models are as excellent as ever. I knew you'd come. You and I, neither of us can escape our fate. And although MGS4 does have that sepia theme going for it when the PS3 and Xbox launched, you would hardly notice it from the story and the action sequences that are a joy to watch. Some events during this game are slightly way too ambitious that it frankly falls a little short to the overall experience of the game. At times, the game switches the gameplay based on how events are occurring. You will get a cutscene on half of the screen while fighting enemies on the other. It feels very weird when the game is asking you to focus on two different things at once. Some of the bigger battles were handled so differently that it didn't ruin the overall experience, but it made it feel cheap. It tries, but it fails in comparisons towards past boss battles. This has been said many times and it echoes even more in Guns of the Patriots. And it's that it feels like half a game and half a movie. The cutscenes are extremely long but in a sense it works. This fills in the gap of the story and with the fourth iteration you should be used to this type of thing. Personally the cutscenes in this game is comparable to the reward you get for finishing a chapter. If you are complaining about the cutscenes then I have no idea how you made it to the fourth game. The characters, their personalities, and their conflicts are the best parts of Metal Gear. Each person is so well thought of that they breathe life into the game. You are not likely to forget their names anytime soon.
What I loved about Metal Gear Solid 4 is how it comes to a full circle with the franchise in what seems like the last chapter in the timeline. You get to revisit familiar faces as well as environments you traversed previously. I still think Snake Eater is the best Metal Gear so far out of all the games I've reviewed, but this one comes close. Sure, the game might have been ambitious, but it excelled in most of what it wanted to do. The story and the emotions of the characters prevailed in the many action sequences it offered. Obviously, this is one title not to miss out if you're a fan of Metal Gear. I give this game an 8.5 out of 10. Brother! It's been too long. Work with it. Rejoice! We're not copies of our father. 